Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul, and we're going to be doing that anomaly mission today. It is Friday. It is the 26th of May, and let's get started. Now, I understand that things have kind of slowed down in relation to... Let me pull you in. If I can pull you in. I guess I'm too close to a planet or something that will pull me in. I believe that the anomaly mission, or pardon me, the cloak that we keep trying to unlock is suddenly slowed down. At least that's what I'm hearing. And if that's the case, that would be very interesting, because I know people have been doing the missions that you have in here, as they usually do, but that usually means that this cloak is in preparation of a possible update, an expedition. We are due for an expedition. I expect... Uh, by the usual time frame, usually within the first couple weeks of May, uh, pardon me, June is when you'll see that happen. So, let's check it out. First of all, you know what, I'm going to take a look at it because I'm sure you are, are all as curious as I am about this. Hello, sir. Show us what we've got. 68%. Yeah, so it did kind of slow down a little bit, so I'm kind of curious as to why that is. Very interesting. Okay, well, let's see what mission we have today. It is Foe of My Foe, Rescue a Stranded Life Form. Okay, good deal. It looks like it just started up as well. You get a wiring loom times 15. I can always use more of those. I think I've only got about uh, 14 or 15 stacks of them. And some Quicksilver, of course, 1,800 to be... Oh, look at that. The second reward is 350 nanites, so that's kind of nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start our mission. And let's find out what's in store for us when we try to rescue this stranded life form, foe of my foe. Well, let me get on my ship until it's gone. There it is. Okay, good deal. In my raptor that I've got here. Like, that's what I call it. It's a pretty cool looking ship. I kind of like it. Anyway, hopefully you all are doing well. We are going to be doing, I'll be doing a few videos this weekend. They're one hour long videos, so instead of doing like about six videos, I'm going to stick down to four of the fugitive attempt. Uh, we're at eight hours and I believe 23 minutes last I checked into this mission. Um, Beeble Bum has upgraded to a version 3.0, slight different, but I am not going to restart my mission. I'm going to continue as I am. Ah, what do we have here? There's our stranded life form. Watery planet for the most part, a little bit of smattering of islands. Good deal. So yeah, we'll be doing those, so watch for those four videos to be released this weekend. I usually will record an extra video or two to have them out there in case, God forbid, something happens and I uh, am unable to get some recordings done, I can throw something out there for entertainment value. The regular playthrough is going to be switched to Wednesdays. I'm going to switch those to Wednesday. So every Wednesday the regular playthrough is going to come out, an hour-long episode. And the permadeath regular playthrough, permadeath regular playthrough that I've been doing, I'm putting on hold uh, due to the Fugitive Challenge. So, all right, let's see here. I'm expecting to find a ship somewhere here. Ah, okay, it's over this way. So you look for your, on your radar for that little yellow dot. It should be right there. There we go. One good thing about these ships is their ability to hover. And hold completely still. There we go. Alright, let's see what our life form, our fellow traveler here, has going on here. Uh, traveler flinches. They stare at me oddly, as though they can see right through me. In despair, traveler. Uh, traveler Ledswin, it looks like, shows me their ship's shattered communicator control unit. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. So we leave. So what we gotta do is we're gonna look for stuff. So hey, while you're here, look for some other stuff. What can we get out of here? Besides slime. 
usually nanites. That's what we always get. But if you're looking for other things, and, you know, this is going to the special runs we do, sometimes you can find other things in all these canisters. I'm going to hold off. Now, we're supposed to be looking for buried technology, okay? That's the thing. If we do that, it's telling us we found one right here. But I'm going to show you a little trick. Once again, if you go into, see, this is third-person view, right? You go into first-person view, which go into the X, you go to your settings, or utilities, I should say, and you can toggle camera view. Now, you see I have a number two above that because I've hit the control button and hit the number two, which allows me to save it to a hotkey. Now, anytime I hit the number two, I go to first-person view and back out again. First-person, back out, you get the hint. Now, if you focus on something like that, and you can see it very clearly if you go to first person view you can pick it up without digging see just a little bit further there we go now if i go to third person view will not work you have to be in first person view to do this okay encrypted communicator now you have to be careful because sometimes uh Corrupted Sentinels will show up to attack you. So keep that in mind. And this time it did not, but I have to decrypt it. So I've got to bring it to another terminal to get it taken care of. How do we do that? Well, you go into your inventory and select it. Wow, well, i got a lot of stuff in there I need to get rid of. I haven't been in my inventory in a while. Actually, I haven't played my regular playthrough in about a week. <laughs> so that would explain why I haven't checked it. Okay. So we have a place to go over there. It's 11 minutes, 54 seconds on foot, but that is not going to do for us. So let's jump in our raptor here, and we'll take a quick gander over there. Do do do. Spin around. Okay, there it is. Whoa, let's get above this stuff. And it's literally right in front of us. Good deal. Encryption terminal is literally right in front of us. Fair warning, we will likely be attacked. So watch this. See? So make sure you get your favorite weapon out. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I've got my pulse spitter in my my overcharge slots right here, my technology supercharges. So we cannot engage the decryption terminal until we take out these sentinels. And you can see they're corrupted. So it's not a corrupted planet we're on. It just means that corrupted sentinels will attack us. Okay? Gone. Whoa, okay, that was weird. Two, three, uh, four. Is that all of them? Yep, okay, we're done. And go ahead and pick up your supplies. At your supply office. No, kidding. Uh, here we go. There we go. Another supply. I must have gotten the other one. If you take a look around, you can look for like little gears and stuff like that to indicate combat supplies. They do indicate other things as well. Nope, don't see any. We're good. Ah, ship's flying overhead. Very nice. Okay, so we go to our decryption terminal. Terminal status active. Please present compatible device. We decrypt. Communicator control unit detecting. Pairing. Key downloaded. Syncing. Device decrypted. Excellent. So we now have a communicator control unit that is completely decrypted. And now we can give it back to him. I really gotta empty out that inventory. Okay. You notice where I landed, by the way. We had a nice oxygen patch. So keep an eye out for these things. And you can collect yourself a little extra oxygen. Though I'm pretty sure that I've got too much to begin with. Um, yeah. No clue where in the world it is. It's got to be down here someplace. There it is. Yeah. I think I've got enough, don't you? So I'll hold off on that. All right. Let's head on back. We'll scurry back the same way we came. Up over our hill. Down into the valley. And we're back. So, not much to this. If you don't mind finding a sentinel or two. Should be fairly easy. There we go. 
Hello, Traveler Ledswin. The Traveler flinches. They stare at me oddly, as though they can see right through me. We give the part. And he just literally disappears. I mean, sort of. You know, he's kind of still there. Kind of weird. Same thing happens every time. And you know what? And the ship's gone. I mean, talk about your thanks, huh? He didn't even say thanks. He could have shake, shook my hand. Would have run right through me. Could have waved. I don't know. Could have done something. He's kind of still there. That's kind of creepy. You know we can see you, buddy, right? That is really weird. Graphical glitch. I'm sure they'll fix that one of these days. No big deal. But anyway, that's it. Now we just head back to the Nexus. It's about the simplest and quickest mission we've ever had. And get away from the planet a little bit. Pull in our Nexus Space Anomaly Park. And landing, here we go. Now, I noticed that uh, Beeble Bum has a mod attached to his game that allows the... When you're pulsing through a system, it allows the star lines to go away. Or debris lines? I don't know what you'd call those. And can help on streaming. I'm going to try to look into that as well, because this coming Monday, this coming Monday, the 29th of May, I plan to do, at this time, I plan to do a live stream that morning. Uh, I don't get to do them as often as some. I know that there's some out there, some newer, uh, especially even newer folks like Delta, uh, who's been doing it uh, quite a bit lately, that they have the time and the ability to be able to do so. I do not. Um, secular job, 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, and it's getting into our busiest season, so it becomes very, very difficult to even take time off to do anything. While I'm looking forward to the expedition coming up, I'm also looking forward to a... Uh, well, let's get this done. Let's get this done. I'm going through news when I shouldn't be. So we're completing out the mission. We got our... We got our Quicksilver. Whew, man, I was running really low, too. Good grief. All right. So I'm not buying anything at this time, but there's our wiring looms, and... Come on. And we have our nanites, right? Nanites dropped back in there? Yeah, I was running low on those two. So I am going to leave you all here. I'm going to leave in the Nexus. All right. So I want to thank you all for watching. Again, I just want to touch real quick on the news at the very end. Live stream on Monday morning, Eastern Time. It will probably be around the 7.30, 8 o'clock hour. I haven't decided how early I feel like getting up, as it is my day off. Um, I'm norm normally er uh, up as early as 5.30 in the morning. So, uh, But I do not stream that early. I need a little bit of uh, go juice to get myself going that early in the morning. But, yes, probably about 7.30 to 8, somewhere in there, we're going to have a stream. We'll see how our fugitive run is going over the weekend uh we'll have four episodes drop we're probably gonna have two drop um probably one tonight and one tomorrow morning another one tomorrow night and probably another one on sunday morning so we're gonna have four episodes drop four one hour episodes drop to get caught up on it um, if I happen to be fortunate enough to complete it, because that only gives me 12 and a half to 13 hours or so of time, um, then I could beat Beeble Bum's time at that point, but I expect that, uh, this episode, this live stream is going to last, a, you know, a good few hours while we try to complete out the, uh, Fugitive run. If not, if I've already completed it, so be it. We'll start a new run, and we'll go from there. So we'll have some fun, whatever it is, and hopefully uh, with OBS operating the way it is right now, I'm hoping that I got my settings all back to normal, and you'll have a better uh, better view of what I'm doing. It won't be so pixelated as it was last time. So, and trust me, I've got a really good internet connection here. I have no idea what happened. My guess is that the settings had reset. I put them back to the way they should be. Let's hope that that takes care of it. But again, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, Please hit that like button. It really does help us and the analytics, as you will, from YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? Come on. Just like Beeble Bump says, voice smooth like butter. You guys love this voice. Come on now. We'll see you all over the weekend. And you all have a great weekend. I hope you all stay safe and have fun. Thank you, everybody. Take care.